So still day 99. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about it and I just want to get a better idea of the construction and how to build it and everything. So we'll see. So like I said, I can't stop thinking about things and working on it. So what I've done is I basically drew a whole design of how I want it with all the measurements and everything, got a good rough idea of what I need. Then I went to Home Depot, got myself another blade that I hope uh, will work now that I learned how to secure it a lot better. I'll say that <laughs> to my angle grinder. And I also got, what was that, 16, I got 16 feet of uh, one inch by, yeah, one, 48 inches, um, one eighth thickness angle steel. So I think this should, it's plain steel. It should definitely work, I hope. I mean, it's at least strong enough to make the box. So there's that. And also, since it's been a little bit of time, I get to see how this turned out. And honestly, I think it did pretty well. It matches pretty well, I think. So, yeah, it's good. See you guys on day 100. Day 100. I really hope today is a good day, basically as a celebration um, of 100 days, because um, I have a very heavy build that I have to basically fabricate, and yeah, it's um, 1 8th thickness um, angle steel uh, from Everbuilt, and I have so I have 12 feet of it and I'm also probably gonna get some more um, bars to uh, do cross sections on the left and right side and then also um, oh yeah I'm also gonna put the sheet metal around it and stuff like that for the sides and everything and just leave area for me to remove one tank if I need and replace it and stuff like that whenever empty or anything so um, yeah, I can't mess up any of the measurements because there's no room for it to be off at all. So I hope I do good. We'll see.
I measured things over and over again because I didn't want to mess up even to the slightest. And I'll show you why. This is how close I have to play with, which is not much at all. So what I'm doing is getting pretty precise on everything and making sure that it's fine because I definitely want to use where I think I'm going to mount it and yeah two pro I already bought two propane tanks and I already bought the mount so there's no moving on from that so I'm making it work the progress that I've made so far. Um, I just cut basically the walling structures now. So they're right above, giving it an inch for the other pieces that I need to cut that are basically identical to that, to the bottom ones. So, um, yeah. And they're gonna be connected to right there, I hope, pretty well. And I need to cut the sheet metal, more of that, and basically put the back, left, and the right on, and leave the front pretty much open, except for whatever I figure out to basically make some sort of door or something. I'll figure it out. Maybe some good strap or something, but I'll also have these chained at the top to the bottom of the flooring basically of the bus schoolie so yeah so i just need to basically go buy some more iron or steel so yeah i'll go find out i'm back from home depot and i got a few items and uh one is kind of putting me through a loop but i'll explain in a second what i did get is this uh, another 1 8 1 8 um, thickness 48 inches so four feet of that again and I also got this flat bar which is one and a half inch wide and it's 36 inches so three feet but I also got this 3 16 thickness and two inch wide angle which is four feet and four feet and what i think what i'm going to try and figure out honestly is putting it on the sides where it's going to basically hold up against the frame and i am going to drill holes in it um and through the chassis because it's going to be the rear section so i don't think it'll be too much of an issue the very rear section um so and bolt it down pretty hard with uh, lock washers and everything make sure it's very tight no matter what but my issue is well what i'm trying to figure out in my head a little bit and also i'm going to go look at it is 
how can I get it once it's all welded together and everything where I just can't move it whatsoever because I can't bend it. That's one of the things I was really hoping for. But I can't bend it. So how am I going to be able to get it into place when this has like two inches wider than 28? So that'd be 32 inches wide at that one little uh, 3 eighths section on each side. It'd be 3 eighths of uh four uh what was it 32 inches so that's gonna be a little bit hard and i have to figure out how i'm gonna do that and if i can just rotate it a little bit or if there's an area where it has a wider range where i can get it through to actually put it up there so i'll see what i think i might be able to do is work at it in angles because this section right here so right there is 35 inches wide and it's got a seven inch and I can put it at an angle so rotate it like this and get it up so maybe six and a half maybe seven inches wide and then I could bring it and then rotate it and then because it'll go under and then I'll rotate this a little bit more because it's at an angle so it's not going to be really mattering too much and then I'll rotate it and put it the six and a half to seven inches wide through here again the maximum I guess and then sit it on top of this right here and right here and then put it right around here not close to that right around here I think would be the best section right here so I think I found a way to do it I hope now what I'm going to do, um, even though on the two um, right and left side, I'm going to have to cut a little bit of space, like a sliver, uh, at least three eighths of an inch, I guess. The thickness of that uh, angle piece, the big one, I'm going to have to cut a piece of that off the uh, sides a little bit just so it can go through and it'll end right there. The wall will, but... Um, I'm going to start cutting my walling out of here and I'm going to do one wall which is going to be width 28 and the height is going to be 20 inches and another one's going to be three uh three and a half or no 13 and one half inches for the width and 20 for the height and 13 and one half for the width and 20 for the height so two are going to be the same and one's going to be different so and also, I know they're all 20, which is the basically more than the propane tanks are tall. So what I'm going to do is fix them later and trim them to what I need it to be because I just haven't. I'll get to that step. We'll see.
I that's the only thing that tires me out is angle grinding still um, it's not just physical exhaustion all it is is uh, just always having to check and everything when the blades just finally break apart I'm glad my skin is still really tough because yeah that would have hurt a little bit I guess so yeah so I just laid it all out so you have the walling up there for that side the walling for there for that side and the walling for here for this side I still haven't done the bottom uh, part yet but I will and yeah just got to make very sure about everything but also right here and right here the um, these are going to be standing up and right there and right there those are going to be standing up straight as well so what i have to do is cut 13 and a half by 13 and a half of the um the two inch wide angle and then i have to cut a 28 inch of the inch angle and then i have no idea about the bar yet but i will see hopefully that should be the end of the angle grinding today we'll see I honestly do hope that was the last bit of angle grinding I'm going to have to do today but I did get all the pieces that I need so far that I think probably for the day at least <laughs> Um, I'll go ahead and show everybody so there is the basically the frame of it right there that's the right side that's gonna go up and that's the left side that's gonna go up and that's also going to be attached to basically the middle right here I think maybe a little bit like three-fourths up or the middle for each one over there too and that the 28 inch long piece is going to be attached to the back end right there right there at the top between these two and then this walling is just going to be in the back that is the flooring that's going to be welded to right there so it, yeah <laughs> so it's good and then um yeah i think uh i i'll probably uh definitely after it's welded and everything i'll have to cut the two inch wide angles to the shape that i want or to the width that i want after the angled um just the um the sides that are coming out so yeah i hope that's it for today but at the same time i'd be glad if it's not i'll say that because i just want this done so yeah i think uh that's pretty decent and it should be Pretty structural when it's finished, I hope. <laughs> 